Hi, I'm Rosie Ann Ritter with RR Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make this trash quilt. If you're like me, you probably have got piles of scraps. Uh, I These are probably from all fabrics uh, that I've made things that I've really liked, and I never wanted to throw away the, the material, so I have boxes of scraps. And this trash quilt is an excellent way to make a quilt. This is actually a king size quilt. And the method that we're gonna use, you know, we're gonna create squares that, I've got this square right here that's 3 8 of an inch. But the way we put it together, and I'm gonna show you in a simple seven step process, that you won't even know this is happening. And just, it's amazing how we've got little triangles going. But I made this quilt, learned how to make it at a class in back in 2004. But this has been on my bed since 2008 and I love it because of all the colors and what all the materials represent, things that I've made. And I hope you enjoy this very simple seven step process of how to make a trash quilt. Okay, now how to get started for step one is we're going to create twosies. And what that means, we're going to just pick out pieces, don't think about the colors, don't think about the sides and the sides matching. Just pick a color, the right, make sure you got the right side and the right side to the other one. Put the two together and you don't have to, they don't have to match perfectly. All we want to do is like create a seam quarter of an inch seam and start to make twosies. Colors don't have to match. They just have to go on. See, this one's a little bit longer. Just start, just start sewing that seam, a quarter of an inch seam. And make quite a bit, make 10 or 20, 10 or 20 of them, get it started. And they could be all sizes too. It doesn't, doesn't matter. You're just picking one out, pressing it together with the other, sewing that quarter of an inch seam. Yeah. And what we're gonna do now is take it off the machine and you've got, you're gonna have a string. I've got a string over here. You're going to take it over to the ironing board and we're going to iron that seam down. Iron that seam. Iron the seam down like that. Iron it all the way. And then we're going to come back and open up the seam and there you've just created your choosy. Okay. Then we're going to separate these and we're going to create a pile of twosies okay next we're going to start working on the next step step two it's called making foursies <laughs> okay our next step is called foursies and what you're going to do is you're going to take your pile of twosies and just start putting these together. The seams do not have to match. The edges do not have to match. But what it is, is you're creating that quarter of an inch seam by just running down one length. See, there's extra material here. We're gonna cut that off. But this creates the character of the, of the quilt. Um, so you pick another twosie and put it with another twosie. I'm going to match these up. Well, we don't match, but I'm going to line these up and just start going down a quarter of an inch. And see, I'm a little bit over, but that's okay. We're going to trim that off when we put our twosies together or when we iron our thing. And this one doesn't have to go, you know, we could put it any way on the twosie, as long as that twosie is with another twosie to create a foursie. And this, this is what creates all those little, little squares, triangles that just appear without you even doing it. 
Okay. And then we're gonna go over to the ironing board and take off some of this excess material from our seam. Like I wanna just take off that quarter, make sure that these are quarter of an inch seams. We got a little bit of extra off. You'll notice the difference when you put your whole quilt together. And then separate them too. Separate them. And then that one I can take off a little bit if you wanna do that. And then what we're gonna do is the ironing is setting that seam and then opening it up. Now you've got a 4 -Z. This one here, set the seam and open that up and you've got another 4 -Z. So that's our 4 -Z. 4 -Z. We've got our 4 -Z. Now our next step, our third step, is an 8z. We're going to put these two 4z's together to get an 8z. Okay, now we're on our third step and it's 8z's. So what we're going to do is we've got a pile of 4z's here. So we just pick out two. Don't worry about colors or shapes or sizes. Just match a side. You can match that side, or if you wanted to match this side, that, might, that side might work good. And then make your quarter of an inch. And then pick your next two Z, and just pick a side. It can be any side. This side looks good. And make your quarter of an inch. Okay, and then take that off the machine. Go over to your cutting board and you can cut your quarter of an inch uh, seams if you had any hangover like this one. I'll just cut a quarter of an inch, just make it nicer so that you don't have extra material hanging over. Separate the squares. And then this one has a little bit. I'll take this off. And now you have eight Z's, which you take over to the ironing board, set your seam, and then open it up. Open it up. There, and I've got another one. Set your seam, open it up. And then now you have an 8C. See, that's an 8C and another 8C. So now we're going to go to the next step, the fourth step. We're going to create 16Zs. Okay, now we're on step four, which is creating 16Zs, which is two eights put together, right sides together. And what I do is I pick out um a side that looks like it would match kind of match the other side it may not be exactly even but i'm going to give you a little tip here i put it on uh that looks like that and what i'm going to do is um just kind of shave it off make it look um even so when i take it to the sewing machine it i have a good straight line to sew from so i'll just sew a quarter of an inch there I've got a couple other ones that the side looks really good to go next to each other. So I kind of match that up and just make it a little even before I take it to the sewing machine. And it kind of gives me a good straight line to sew from. Oh, it's got seam. Seam is a little thick there and my wheel didn't cut it. Okay, there. Got this one. Oh, and another one. I'll do another one. I just picked this this side and so I'll jag it. 
but if I lay it down and then do a straight line with it, it's easier to um, sew on that, that line. And then you can use these for more pieces too if you want to. So we're going to take all of our pieces here and we're going to make 16 of these. And again, just go a quarter of an inch on that line and make a chain of them. Take number two. <laughs> Sections are getting bigger and bigger. Nope. Oh. That's our puppy. That's Gigi. She likes to hang around. She's listening to us. to our ironing board and so uh, iron in these seams kind of sets the seam sets that so that we can um, iron that over and I cut cut each of the sections <coughs> off These are our 16Z, so open that up and iron that open. Pressing one of the seams to the side, it doesn't matter which side it goes to, you just push it back, iron it. There, I wanted to wanted to show you something that I saw in one of my locks. I think it's here. Here it is. Iron that. I like this. I like this because look at that triangle that showed up in there and I didn't plan it. It was just it just the way it happens when it goes in there. These other little like trapezoids too are so cool. But this is 16 Z's, and then we're gonna to go to our next step, five, and do 32 Z's. Okay, this is step five. This, these are the 32 Z's. And I also wanted to point out, this is Gigi. <laughs> She's paying attention to us right now, wondering what we're doing, all the talking that's going on, and it's not going towards her. But we are on 32 Z's, which is 16 blocks or sections uh, together, right sides together. And I just picked the side and put that together. That'll be a 32 Z. But I wanted to show you uh, how I actually put one together. Like, like I've got a 16 and a 16, and this looks like a good place to put it down. Um, let me see what else I got. This also looks like a good one. And this side, this side may be good too. So I put those two together like that and then I draw like a straight a straight place where it'd be a good seam. Cut that off, 
throw that over, and that's where my seam line will be on that one. So I'll be 16 and 16, and then I have an extra piece there. So we're gonna go to sewing machine and put these 32s together, 32Zs together. So as you can see, we're just, our pieces are growing each time. So just a, so a quarter of an inch, as we've done before, to make a chain of them, taking our two pieces. And then take this over to the to the ironing board, cut these two, separate these two, and then set the seam. And open it up as you want. And these two. Okay. Now we're gonna be able to go on to the next step, which is our 64 Z's. And that'll be the last step to um, getting almost through with our, our quilt. So be right back. Okay, now our sixth step is the 64 Z's. We're gonna take two 32's Z's and put them together for a 64 Z. And we could see our piece grow. So I'm kind of like auditioning uh, how I want this to look um, and the size that I'm going to create. So I think I'm going to go this way, putting it on here. Uh, and then I'm actually going to take off some stuff that I, that I have sewn, but it can actually go um in another piece so i just ink, uh, take that off and then go to my sewing machine and put these two together for a 64 z sewing a quarter of a seam inch seam ironing board setting setting that seam and then open that up <laughs> and then see the piece is getting bigger now what we can do I may want to add some here to make it a little bit bigger um, but this, you could start to see that our piece is growing. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna start to make a block. You can cut, you could start to angle off this and start to make the kind of block you wanna make. Uh, if you wanna go 12 and a half inches or 16 inches, you know, you keep adding pieces until you get to the size of block you want. Um, my king size quilt, had different size blocks and I actually put it together like a puzzle but this is what you're doing is you're just creating big pieces so that you could start to put it together as a big quilt as big as you want it to be but the but the really neat thing about these blocks is the shapes that it's creating it's creating, you know, little blocks in here. We saw this triangle here that is so cool. These trapezoids that I didn't even plan for. And they just start showing up in, in the squares. Okay, this is our last step, our seventh and final step. And we've got quite a few big pieces. And what I want to do is try to create like a big block. Um, you could do 12 and a half 
by 12 and a half. Uh, but what I got three big pieces and I'm looking like these two will go together. And then when I sew that, I'll sew it to this one and I'll have a big piece. So let me just take this to the sewing machine. Quarter of an inch seam. To our mat, um, set the seam in just like we have been doing. Open it up. Put a quick iron to that. Now we're going to attach it to this one. So you can see, we're going to have to cut a little bit off. So I watch where my cuts are down here. And I got a little cutting board. And I'm just figuring out how I want to do that. I'm going to use a bigger cutting mat. <laughs> So I could get a good straight line. And then all of this that is gonna get cut off, I can use that again in another block. So are you just really using reusing scraps? And I picked like my, my lowest mark to to make my cut. Cut, and I can save all that for another time. We're gonna take this to the machine. This is where you can start to see a lot of the little triangles starting to appear that you had no reason to put them there. They just start appearing, which is so cool. open it up. Now I've got a pretty big square. Now this is where I can uh, take out my ruler and start to see how big I can make this. And this is where like I can get a 12 and a half by 12 and a half Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna cut this and I can use all my my scraps again, whatever is left over on there. So I'll just cut all the way around this. Kinda gotta go through a lot of seams. <laughs> and you gotta hold it down tight. There, I'll save that for another block. Now I have a 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch square. And you can make multiple of these and then attach them just by sewing one square to the next square to the next, however big you want your quilt. But that is your uh, trash quilt block one of many as far as how big you want your quilt to be. I hope you had fun. <laughs>
doing this trash quilt. Check out my website, uh, roseanritter.com slash RR designs for other uh, things that I've done and patterns that I've used to create different quilts and clothes and home decor and other things. Thank you very much. Thank you.